We're on our way right now to do Pilates because my back has been so jacked up. We got a Pilates instructor in the car here too. Are you gonna tell us if these people in Australia don't know what they're doing? I will, okay. we'll see. <laughs> Good. Good to know, because my back is jacked up. What's new? We all know I have back problems. I'm excited to give it a go here. It's only my second time ever doing Pilates. Buckle up for safety. Thank you, Tesla. <laughs> Since we're in Australia, the Tesla's name is Tezzy because we shortened everything here. Um, gonna just, just go with the flow today. You know, take you guys along for the ride. I feel like me doing handheld camera work um, it just is so much more intimate. Come in, look into my eyes. Now look away. Now look back into my eyes. Let's go to Pilates. All right, we're gonna do Pilates in a second, but I'm gonna need some coffee first. Flat white almond milk latte is what we're talking about. So I was gonna go with a piccolo, which is just less foam slash milk in an almond white, almond milk flat white. So many different coffees over here. So a piccolo is just comes in that little tiny glass and it's stronger with less milk. A flat white is just more milk. I did my part in saving the planet. Bought one of these glass mugs to really try to stop me from using a coffee cup that I throw away every day. Alec Baker is rubbing off on me. Look at it. Look what I did, Alec. Are you proud of me, buddy? Oh, I'm actually really proud of you. Huh? I'm really proud. Look who is the environmental vegan now. The tables are turning. I actually don't eat any food anymore. That's how environmentally conscious I am. I don't want to kill plants either. Hmm, so there. This is called your whole body health. Whole body um, health in Terrigal. In Terrigal, yeah, in line with Joseph Pilates' philosophy was to create whole body health, basically. Yeah. Us vegans yeah. will hang out over here while the Pilates. Yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> so we'll be like 12 people at a time. It's well, so good, eh? Like I have a bad back. Okay. <laughs> this thing looks familiar from yours. That thing looks familiar. And then all this does, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 Every you do Socks Pilates, to remember to bring your socks. So do you want to tell me about your back? Uh, my back is <laughs> effed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a degenerative disc disorder, so, so I don't know. Uh, what happens is this right side, yeah. like if I hit a 45 degree angle, I just go. So I just try to keep everything tight, try to keep my glutes activated. But I've done it all, like I can do it all, but right now it's a little bit worse than when I did the class with you. So. If anything hurts, I'll just be like, Tell me. teacher, that yeah, hurts. That's okay. We'll start off quite slow. I'll just go through the body a little bit, do a bit of breathing, and then we'll get into it, because that gives me an idea of where you're at as well, what you need to help. Just relax until the tail reach the knees, press the feet down, pull the heels in. Yes, in and hold. And out as you melt your spine into the ground, but keep that feeling of foot pressing down, the heels pulling in. All right, guys, we just finished up here at Whole Body Health. Lifesaver, honestly, I feel so much better right now. Like, my hips are open. I'm gonna start doing these. I'm gonna make a commitment to go twice a week when I'm in St. George. I gotta find someone to give me private lessons. So if you're an amazing Pilates instructor in St. George watching this, let me know. I don't think those people watch my videos, but hey. <laughs> Thank you so much, that was awesome. <laughs> I enjoyed it. That was good. Yeah, Baker was over here stretching. Your neck looks longer, mate. <laughs> your jaw, your, jo your jaw, your jaw That's looks more squared. You're six foot four. Pilates does amazing things. So, that being said, let's go see what Nathan and the boys are up to. What we're doing today is we're leaving this beautiful establishment that we call home, and we're jumping into this is Nathan's pride and joy. It's his baby. It is a beautiful Jeep. Wrangler Sport Orange Sherbert. It's a beautiful color. First stop on our day of adventures is what? Crocodile Rock. 
Crocodile Rock. To me, that's an Ellen John song. Mm -hmm. I remember when Rock was young. Me and Susie had so much fun. Holding hands and skipping stones to the Crocodile Rock. Sing, Croc Rockin'. I never knew me a better time, and I guess I never will. Wild life in Australia. We already did a video about how everything can kill you here. The ants are the size of Nathan here. Absolutely massive. So we're hiking down to this, obviously, this rock called Crocodile Rock. Um, hopefully, I see no snakes because snakes and me don't really work out. I don't like them. But we're going to hike here. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but eventually we're going to come to a rock that we will jump off into the ocean in Australia, where there's also maybe potentially going to be a shark. So doing heaps of fun things today. I can't wait. Although it does beat what's going on in the States right now. There is a major, major cold front. It's like minus 60 wind chilled in Minnesota. So I'll take my chances with the sharks in the ocean rather than have to brave that kind of cold weather. You know what? I like this area so much, I think we might need to go house shopping here. Excellent. Start a business. Live here four months out of the year. First off, gotta buy a house. Right in this area somewhere is where I'm thinking. How great is this? That's where we're staying, right there. That's the house I'm gonna buy in five years. Until then, just gonna have to keep Holiday. living in Utah. It could be worse. It could be. Be sick here. Yeah? Well, hanging off here, flying the drone in and I'll lift my feet up and you can go under. Yeah. All right, that sounds super sketch. Let's suss it out though. So much harder flipping like that. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> Question is, did we nail it? What do you think? I think we got the shot. We have made it to a place where we will be jumping into the ocean. It's approximately 10 meters high. I'm gonna try to gain her and just send it. So they have this saying in Australia, we're not here to F spiders. They say it though, because swearing really isn't a big deal here in Australia. I never knew what that meant until you see the size of the spiders here and you realize they're big enough that maybe potentially you could make that argument that, you know, I'm not saying anything, but the spiders here are that big. So, we're not here to F spiders. You have to clarify that. Yeah, that sounds great. Yep, I'm stoked. Let's go jump into this. Science telling us not to do things. When they tell you not to do things in Australia, you should listen because they even allow things that can kill you. Like they, they don't put signs like jellyfish in the water. There was a sign there, nobody listened to it. So things in Australia, when you don't listen to signs, bad things happen. So, I don't know if you guys saw, but Steve put up a video the other day on his channel, and everyone was like commenting, being like, Steve has a man crush on Nathan! And I think it's a mutual thing, because we're like, he's like an American version of me, he's like a bigger American version of me. Less athletic, <laughs> less hairy, doesn't have a good of a beard, but yeah, just more handsome, totally. more charming, nicer. This guy. But also like all the same things. We like fitness, we like fashion, we like adventures. 
That's that's my jam right there. Did we just become best friends? Yep. yep. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. It's a big Australian spider. What is that thing? A golden orb spider. A golden orb. That thing is hideous. Massive. It's poisonous. Yeah, we didn't let it touch it. Massive golden orb again that Nathan walked right through. Now Nathan's a small guy, but he was able to get out of it, barely. Fighting his way, just like Frodo and Samwise in Lord of the Rings, because that spider is a baby one of that spider up there. And you guys can't really see it, but that thing's about the size of my hand. It eats birds for breakfast. A massive spider, a golden orb, black widow, mixed and had a baby. Captain Death. straight to the head <laughs> all right guys we are done here at the ocean jumping in it's been great let's go back to the house we got Baker over here in the corner just editing away wanted to talk to you about our epic day today such a sweet sweet Australia day in the outback a lot of spiders a little worried that I was gonna see a shark didn't but when you grow up like away from the ocean like it's it's so beautiful and so crazy but it's also kind of scary so absolutely blast today we didn't bring water that was dumb very bad idea and I'm absolutely wrecked today um, my back I feel like any progress that I made with Pilates opening things up I went right back out and kind of hammered it again so I know that's my own fault but really I'm in this situation with my back because I feel like I you know I, I didn't um, do enough mobility so my back degenerative disc disorder. My right leg is a little bit shorter than my left leg. Sitting on a plane, working out with the mountain years ago, having tight hips, all of it have kind of accumulated to this place where I am now. So if I have any advice for you guys out there, if you're young, you think you can just, you know, not worry about mobility, lift heavy, never stretch, start working on mobility stuff now because there's nothing worse than trying to live your life, trying to have fun and being like inhibited by like shocks of pain shooting up and down your back when you hit like a certain angle on things. So I refuse to let it stop me and obviously um, it sometimes slows me down, but I'm going to commit to things like Pilates to rehab, to making sure that I'm doing everything I can so at the end of the day, I'm gonna have longevity because that's really more what it's about having longevity and doing what you absolutely love. Things like today with awesome people and Australia's just honestly, it's so hard to describe unless you've been here or you're from here. And if you're from here, you probably don't even know how, how great it is, but like 24 million people in a country that's almost the size of the US. So many great things to do outdoors, the sun, like it's just such an epic place that you know, I could definitely see myself, you know, hanging out here more often for sure because the people are great. It's similar enough to the U.S., but it's still so, so different. The culture is, is super different and, you know, just like I said, good folks, good time. So good on you, Australia. You guys were uh, heaps of fun today. Next video, we're going to get a, a workout in going over like core stuff. So stay tuned for that. I think we might have to do some house shopping. I'm going to show you where we're, we're staying at because it's absolutely insane um, and a vlog coming up and then maybe we'll go see what kind of real estate just to kind of see how affordable Australia is because it's kind of expensive here. So thank you guys for watching. If you can hit that like button. Um, I really think that, you know, I've been getting a lot of messages with people saying, Steve, loving the content lately. 
thanks to this guy over here. He's been putting in long hours, doing, doing work, editing. I've been trying to get back to a little bit more just the camera stuff and having fun. Like, I just feel like it's so easy to live carefree down here, to enjoy training, to get out, hike, stay active, eat healthy. So hopefully we can keep it going, but I appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you're not, because we're gonna have so much more fun. Um, what we're gonna be doing is pretty much uploading every three days. Um, so some, some weeks will be three videos, but every three days we'll be uploading a video. Next one will be up Tuesday, Tuesday here in Australia, which will be Monday back in the US. And like I said, it'll be more of like a trainer edition. So keeping the content switched up between in the gym and then out of the gym. But I appreciate it. I'm going to bed. Buenos noches. Good night. We're watching part of the vlog right here where I try to do one and a half flip. I've tried doing these before and sometimes they work. I can gain her, but I'm not gonna lie. Nathan's super graceful. I just am like, I'm gonna send it. So I try sending it right here. Get it, get it, get, get it around. <laughs> oh. yeah. My pride was a little bit hurt on that. And then the other part we didn't show you is at the end, uh, I can't even show him that. They have some crazy swear words over here, so we jumped off at the end and we threw music over it, but uh, Nick, Nathan's videographer, can we get this? Just bleep out the bad part. <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> the C word over here, I don't fully understand why people use it, but it makes me laugh every time I hear it, so. Thank you guys for watching the bonus stuff.